in this vote harvesting time in America, perhaps we should learn from the past. And learn your history or you're doomed to repeat it. 400 years the Native Americans dealt with and made treaties with the elected officials of the United States. 400 years. Some 1,300 treaties. Treaties, basically contracts. And the elected officials of the United States did not keep one of those contracts. They broke them all. They lied 1,300 times. They know how to do it real good, generation after generation. With that in mind, in my 63 years, I've seen just about the same results. Every four years, elected people or those wanting to be re-elected or elected, they uh, will promise you anything to get elected. To get elected. And the day after they get elected, rest assured, everything they promised is swept under the rug for another four years until they have to have your vote again when they come harvesting your vote. Perhaps, perhaps you ought to sell your vote a lot higher and be a lot smarter of how you utilize that vote. Buying my vote would not be all that hard. Laws like, for example, a lawnmower. You know how annoying they are and how loud they are? You hear them two blocks away, blaring away continually, and nobody sets up and mows all at the same time so it's almost continual you hear somebody mowing their lawns mowing their lawns there's no reason in the world why they couldn't put a better muffler on this if they can put a muffler on a gun and quiet it down so quiet that you can't even hardly hear the gun go off standing beside it and you can stand by an automobile engine and again so quiet you can't hardly hear it they could do the same thing with a lawnmower now there's a law worth doing, and that's one of the laws that if you passed it, I would be very tempted to vote for you. It's basement homes are forbidden in many cities and towns. We need a federal law to open that back up and allow people to have a basement home. It's sure a lot better in a terrible storm, and it's cooler in the summer, and it's warmer in the winter. You do well to consider a basement home, not counting. The cost of a basement home is easily a third of the cost of a home above ground. And there would be a good law to help us open that door. Another way you can get my vote is if you pass a law on this side of the election that allows children to work to their ability. Just as it's already legal for them to deliver papers on the street, it's legal for them to run a lawnmower and other activities that I consider semi-dangerous but they do it and they do it quite well and very very few get injured and so rest assured let's open up a lot of other activities for them to make money the younger you teach a child work the less chance he'll ever want to be on food stamps or welfare and that puts cash in his pocket it also mean that he doesn't have to commit a crime to get hard cash. You bet. If you want my vote. In this vote harvesting time, if you want my vote, you need to, on this side of the election, stop foreign aid. A hundred percent of it. Let those people steal their money someplace else. The taxpayers in this country shouldn't support the lazy in another country. It's bad enough that we have to take care of people that are all too often able to work and don't in this nation. Stop for an aid if you want my vote now. If your party wants my vote, then you need to get the educational system changed and find out what priorities the people need. One of them, of course, is health care. And so I think four years in high school of basically an EMT course would be a great example and a good start for everyone. Be their own first line defense against any medical needs. If you want my vote, what would you need to be able to give your vote? How would you sell your vote?
and do the best good, not only today, not only for yourself, but for future generations. What would you do? Rate this film.